Right, nice phone ringtone. <laughs> All message tone, whatever. It's, it's, uh, it's, it's, it's like, like the PlayStation messages and I can't turn them off and it's really annoying, so, uh, <laughs> you know. Not even gonna bother checking. Oh, crap. Don't need my voice again. What? I always forget to mute it. There we go. Um, yeah, I'm not checking the Shrewsbury Man United score as much as I... Well, I, I'm not a Man United fan, but frankly, right now, I'd rather see... You know, I'm feeling tired enough as it is. I don't need a sleeping pill alongside it. So you're watching this first? Yeah, I'm not even checking the score, Man United. I wouldn't. Accept, I, w I would not be surprised if we lost to Shrewsbury. And we lost to us. So. Yeah, I mean, uh, no disrespect, um, but uh, you know it's bad when <laughs> Sunderland Sunderland beat Man United two one, and you and you sat there thinking, I'm just glad it wasn't they more. That win. They deserved to win by <laughs> more. <laughs> it was so bad. Yeah, I'm just in love with Samina Corny. Corny. Yeah. Yeah. I mean, you know, he didn't get given that goal because he should have been. But I know it's not the hey your own goal. It's going on target. Surely that's the rule if it's going on target, but it goes to the attacking player. But no, it's it's just it's. I don't know how he's not been sacked yet. It's it's crazy. We're streaming it, by the way. Yeah, we're streaming now. I've, we've been talking about okay. football, which is very topical <laughs> to this race. <laughs> um, so yeah, I'll move away from the subject of football now, mainly because you know when we talk about Man United, it makes me want to cry. <laughs> but uh, Phil's just posted that, well in the uh, form race thread that Jared's is tipped to win. Yeah, I know. I oh, speak Queen does, didn't know that we were doing um, Spain and she's done no practice for it because <laughs> it was gonna I think originally I, I all thought that we were gonna do Britain again to next week but then Tedge obviously said we're doing Spain so and not everyone knew yeah, I think yeah. It makes sense, I wouldn't want to race at the same track two weeks in a row, especially after you've just failed to complete it the first time around. That's why I I, I was adamant with Tedge but I wanted it later on in the season. I can't, I can't shut, shut this, this damn, damn thing up. up. Can you throw it into it like either, I don't know, at the room, at the window? <laughs> If you're upstairs, that's probably not advised. <laughs> <laughs> I'll figure it out. Turn, no, I don't know, I don't know. Mine's always on vibrate. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> yeah, Mine has the sound, sound turned off, off but, but still, still plays that sound. sound so. <laughs> you will never shut me up, the phone says. <laughs> <laughs> Basically. Everyone talking about uh, the cars. McLaren Honda's been talked about in the F1 chat. Yeah, McLaren Honda. Uh, had a decent day today, I'd say. Yeah, they did a, a fair few laps, didn't they? Yeah, which is important for them. I think they did more laps today than they did in the whole of the first test last year. Which says a lot, really. Uh, I've heard the end... Yeah, I've heard the engine's going to be developed as they go along, so it could be. So it, it might not be to Australia when we see how good the Honda can be, but I saw some videos that made me think that the, no, the car noises are going to be a lot louder than what they are. They're a bit louder, but it's nothing yeah. drastic. It's nothing like what the V8 used to be. No. Or the Eccleston's complaining. I don't know why he's complaining about the sport that he decides the rules on. <laughs> you know, he, yeah, yeah, I don't quite get that yeah. either. I mean, <laughs> he, he wants to change something, he can, so. Or do you he needs to change something to make things worse, so. 
needs to, he needs to him. yeah he needs to give a decision making to somebody else who is a bit more uh, how can I put this nicely uh, <laughs> I can't <laughs> so yeah I, uh, I think Bernie's losing it in his old age bless him someone who knows what they're doing I suppose yeah I still find it funny how he managed to get out of a bribery trial through legalised bribery. <laughs> yeah. It's, it's like uh, it's like someone going for a murder trial and saying, well, I killed someone outside, so you might want to see to that. <laughs> <laughs> well, that's a weird law in Germany. So you, like, you, you want to trial for bribery here. How much do you want the... I know. It's... It's messed up, really. Um, uh, Phil's just posted the sound design at 10 to 15%. Yeah, I think I saw that video when Ted Carrot said 10 to 15%. It's not screaming like V8s, which is what people wanted, although it's possible to achieve that with Turbo and the RS, etc. Yeah. It's. I know there's a lot of changes coming in 2017, but I don't think the engines is one of the things that's been changed, is it? No, I don't think it is. I honestly, I'd quite like it if they just like let them have whatever engine they wanted. Yeah. They're gonna make the cars. Gonna they're gonna make the cars wider, which is gonna make it even harder to overtake. Yeah, yeah. I really don't <laughs> understand that. <laughs> we want more overtaking. Let's make the cars wider. <laughs> I think the issue now is that they can't follow each other because of the fancy old dynamics, can they? So. Yeah. I think it'll also be a lot more exciting if Ferrari can be close to Mercedes this year. Well, if any car can be close to Mercedes, it'll be more exciting. Yeah. I can't see anyone but Ferrari really putting a challenge up. I, I think Williams are going to have trouble from... How do they do with Williams? Um, Williams, I think they were they were on the exact same time as for Red Bull in like P3 and P4. And I think they did... Oh, right. did you? In fact, I had it up earlier, so I can. Uh, here we go. I can. I can actually look here. Um, I had a cool thing up. Uh, Bottas did 80 laps, and yeah, did a 126.0, same as Ricardo, which is 1.1 off Vettel. Um, and yeah, Bottas. Vettel went crazy. Yeah. yeah. But um, and Mercedes did 156 laps. Which is... That's it. <laughs> yeah, that's just like showing off, really, isn't it? <laughs> yeah. I get. The, I, I started to get the impression they didn't even learn anything from the last 50 laps. They just wanted to show that they could do it. <laughs> yeah, it's like twice as long as any base on the calendar. Apparently Renault have gone for one separate exhaust. Uh, one, re um, one separate exhaust, whereas others have gone for... T other, all the other teams have gone for two. Um, hmm. Uh, I'm assuming that's noise related really rather than anything else. Maybe I'm not, not entirely sure what the Eagles will do to benefit the car. <laughs> it's going to be a tough year for Renault, I think, taking over Lotus. and In, the in theory, they've kind of gone worse off because they've gone from a Mercedes engine to a Renault engine. Yeah, yeah. the Renault engine still quite slow, isn't it? Is the Renault engine uh, still on the Red Bull? Yeah, they've just rebranded it, haven't they, Red Bull? I I noticed an interview today with Adrian Newey and he, he didn't even call Red, Renault by name when talking about the engine. <laughs> <laughs> I almost but feel like Red Bull, Red Bull have got Renault engines because they had no other alternative. <laughs> yeah, pretty much it was either that or Honda. Yeah. <laughs> it's probably been offered you at least... Actually, <laughs> I don't even think they were allowed to have the Honda engines because McLaren wouldn't, wouldn't let them. So. No, no. So Honda were interested, but McLaren, it was the deal was it was a sole project, wasn't it? Yeah. yeah. So they wasn't allowed to. It's good to see uh, Force India put out a test driver today, and they did a. That was pretty good. Yeah, I'm just a. Um, a Chilis, I think it is. I say is a Mexican driver. Um, did 58 laps in P5, oh. well, I think. I think he went on the soft tyre, whereas most of us went out, only went out on the mediums. It's not too bad. Um, did you hear about the Haas front wing failure? No, how, how did the front wing feel? I don't know, it was down the straight apparently. Um, I assume that... Did, did, did it just fall off? Or? 
All the all people said was there was a waterfront wing debris on the pitch tray. No one actually saw it happen. So didn't even see it. I think so. Yeah. It's a bit. Uh, not. It's not really what Grosjean would have wanted or expected on the first day. No. Safe. Uh, <laughs> not not going to be fun. It's going to be a bit scary when you're like just driving down the track and the wing disappears. It was an interesting first day, but I, um, I think it was just like for like a lot of the morning, it was Mercedes and Ferrari just trading fastest laps. And then Vettel just puts in a really fast one. Yeah. I mean, there's only, I mean, the least amount of laps that a team completed was 31, and that was Haas. <laughs> that's 31 for a new team, that's pretty good still. Especially yeah, considering the that. front wing failure that's kept out for a few hours. Um, Mana did 54 in the end, Renault only did 37, I think they had a few issues, but yeah, everyone did a reasonable amount, even McLaren, <laughs> so, best looking car, um, what what would you say, what would you um, say, I quite I like, like the Ferrari, yeah, I suppose like everyone would say the Ferrari though, wouldn't they? I was going to say the Ferrari until I saw the Mana this morning, <laughs> But now I, I'm. I like the man. Yeah, man is quite nice, but I prefer the Ferrari. So I also quite like the new design on the Red Bull as well. Uh, I'm not a fan of the font for the Red Bull. But that's just me. <laughs> and there's not what to say about most other teams because most of the teams just haven't changed anything. The no, most of them are exactly the same. And Toro Rosso are run not running a livery until the second test, so. So what does that car look like? It was navy blue, and just with nothing on it. <laughs> not even the not even the traditional like bulls and you know like Taurus or anything on it. I assume it'll just look like that though when they do eventually get it underway. Anyway, um, we do have a F1 race here on PSGL, not real life. <laughs> I'm into qualifying. Yep. Um, Waiting for the first car to go out. Eleven cars to here today. That's not bad. New newcomer. In, my name's Jared. Who we know from his time in F2, but he's got the potential to challenge. G um, not Jimmy. Our boy at the front. Yeah, and uh, in the Lotus today, probably slightly quicker than the uh, Lotus. Also, we'll see how we can do. And our boy's out on track. We need the first one out. Oh yeah, our oh boy. It's, it's Toros is always first out on track. It seems to be a tradition. Yeah, he's doing a very, very slow out lap of these. And he's doesn't. Well, he's got a track to himself at the moment. Um, Phil put in the chat. Williams are running an old nose. They plan to go to a Mercedes type nose. Also, pretty good for McLaren to only be eight times off Williams. But we did run the uh, soft tyre, whereas Williams are only on the mediums. That wasn't Phil Harry saying Williams. that. Before more promising than last year. <laughs> Although you could argue that's not difficult. <laughs> no, I mean, the man that was probably more promising than the start of last year. <laughs> yeah, didn't even turn up to Australia. No, I don't think they'd <laughs> No, we didn't, we didn't, I don't think they even raced in Australia in time, so <laughs> still more promising though. Now we've got four cars on track, Phillips out, Art Man is out, and my name's Jared's out. You know, they did, uh, they did turn up for Australia, but just didn't miss. Yeah, I don't think they got the car ready in time. They did like a practice session, and that was it. And then I got yeah. a flying crew. Yeah. It seems like all the cars are a lot more prepared this season. Yeah, we've had a few years with these engines now. So. Yeah, next year I reckon it'll descend into chaos again. <laughs> Probably. <laughs> so our boy started his lap. My name's Jared's just behind him. I'll follow uh, our boy around. Alright. Um, first sector time is a 22.4. Don't know what Jared's right. done in comparison. Oh, I'll have a look now. See a 22.9. Okay, so. 
I'm not expecting Speed Queen to be fast straight off the bat because she didn't practice this track for thought she was racing at she thought she was racing at Silverstone event. Yeah, over there. Might take a few laps so to get over the speed thing. Yeah. yeah, Phil was about to complete his for a second. Oh, our boy could be getting held up here. Oh, the car gets well out of the way. It might have affected him a little bit though, I'm not sure. 30.3 middle sector from our boy. Yeah, it's still a tenth quicker than Philip, than Jared. So, around the last couple of corners. This chicane, oh, don't get me into a rant about it. It's such a shocking corner. <laughs> anyway, he comes across the line to do a 123.4. And I'm just about to follow Jared around the final corner. Who does a 123.6. So only a couple of attempts shy. Oh, very, Way quicker than the last sector. sector. Yeah. Mm. Oh, but it looks like you're struggling with understeer a little bit in the last sector. Phillips about to finish his lap as well. Yep. Wrestling his car through the chicane. Yeah, it didn't look completely tidy that. Now goes we third. Yeah, both Philip and Arboy didn't look that good round of last sector, whereas Jared looks like he hooked it up much better. Our turn is doing a lap on prime tires. Jammy Bear is on the prime tire. Okay, that explains. Our oh, man's done a 126.4. Fair bit off the pace. Jeremy Bear's done a 126.5, but that's on the prime tyre. And he had a poor last sector. Guy Makers, I think, who's about to who's in the last sector of a lap. Not looking a particularly good lap though. And uh, we've got nine people watching at the moment, which is a fair good attendance. Yeah, Not very good viewing. Very good, that's it. Um, um, Phillips won a tenth quicker than his previous best in the first sector. And I make his mm, 129. Yeah, it's not particularly quick. Our turn is in the final sector, but he's on the prime tyre. And his sector times at the moment aren't looking particularly competitive, to be honest. Yeah, you might just come back into the pits. Yeah, I'm following around the uh, chicane. Oh dear, missed the first apex by a country mile. Now he's going to complete the lap. A bit surprising, because I don't think it's going to get him anywhere. But he might be going for another hot lap one. after this. 127.7, yep, yeah, goes P6. Speed Queen's out on track for the 23. Oh, she's on fire guys as well. It's decent middle sector, I'll well, say some prime, she might get a sort of around, or Jeremy Bear, as I say, that's just gone back up, has gone to fourth on the prime tyres, much better last sector. Only two seconds off on the prime tyres, so that's not too bad. Yeah, I think she's uh, might have backed up on the flower a little bit. She's going to be very slow through the final sector. She made a made a mistake. So she'll go again for another lap. I reckon the second lap on um, prime tyres might be quicker than the first. We've got a uh, Williams driver. I have no idea what that flag is. Venezuela, Colombia. Um, I'm usually and quite good at I'm usually quite good at flags. I think <laughs> I think that's Colombia because it hasn't got any uh, symbols on it. In Ecuador, a similar flag as well. <laughs> yeah, Ecuador and Venezuela have uh, symbols on them. If I remember rightly, so I think it's Colombia. Oh, yeah, Colombian right. contingent. <laughs> be honest, Colombia is probably more known for its football than its Formula One, but it's also known for other things. Yeah. Oh yeah. I I I, I think I get what you meant then. <laughs> <laughs> it took me a while. <laughs> yeah. Jordan in a Ferrari. The last time I saw him, he was in Williams. Ah, oh, yeah, I think he was in a Ferrari last week. Actually, I think he's had a slight change now that he's a permanent driver rather than a reserve. Let's see how we can do here then. I want to see Jordan do well. I know he's got the pace. 
to really challenge on his day, but I just haven't seen him. He looked pretty good at Silverstone, but when he got cancelled, it's just the kind of look you get really in those situations, isn't it? Yeah. <laughs> um, Bigly improved on a second half. Not really enough to uh, go up any positions. Nah. Probably going out in the primes to get used to a track, I imagine, considering the situation. Now Turner improved on his second lap as well. I moved up to P5. Slower than Jammy Bear, though, on the same tyre, so that could be. I think Jammy Bear looks like his decent pace. Yeah, uh, about to finish another lap. Oh, yep, yeah. I'm falling around the uh, final chicane. Didn't go as wide he as he did. He like that apex. No, no, he, he got close to it when the last time I saw him, but still not that particularly close to it. And he goes. Doesn't improve. No. Stays in P. P5. I always. Part of me, I always lap it up in his representative. He must have made a mistake in the middle sector. Yeah, Jared's improved on his personal best slightly in the first hmm. sector. Tafu's just done a very solid first sector, 22.7. Yeah, that's a quick time, actually. That's quicker than most, actually. Putting everyone apart from our My friends just let me know that my United are winning 1 0, thanks to Smalley. Yeah. There you go. <laughs> but they are playing Shrewsbury. Yeah, I know, but it is Man United. <laughs> exactly, I mean, it is Man United. <laughs> and, uh, we scored a goal, it's a miracle. I mean, my, my first team, Barnsley, beat Shrewsbury 3-0, so that says a lot, really. Ten Jared people. Wasn't able to oh, it's a double figures. That's not bad. Uh, Tafu, this is looking like a solid lap from Tafu. Lost a little bit in the middle sector, though. Go, yeah, it goes P8 in the end. Two. Yeah, the last, two the sections. last two sectors weren't... Um, Uh, I'm assuming that's not really a lap for Myola. That, that 138. Okay, my stream's getting a. Uh, getting loads of comments in my stream <laughs> about Man United, not particularly ones I want to read out, but oh well. Anyway, um. Yeah, but that's a solid first sector when Joe Vince is on primes. Uh, Philip does improve to the 124 exactly. Didn't manage to move any positions. But... Yeah, that's the Leeds fan blocked from the room. Okay, move back to race. <laughs> uh, Joe anyway. Vince and. <laughs> yeah, Jufin had a good first sector, um, middle sector not quite as good, I think he's backed off now. Yeah, he's definitely backed off. I like yeah. him being very, very cool. <laughs> yeah, that's him at full tilt, I'm worried. <laughs> <laughs> Phillips out for another lap, it's a solid first sector, I think it's his personal best. I think somebody broke the front wing on the, on the end and stuck it there. I can't imagine it was Jufin. No. <laughs> <laughs> Okay, fill it round the middle sector, see uh, where he is now. That's a decent middle sector. Okay, it's not a personal best actually. So it's, it's no, probably. It's, it's the first sector was a personal best. Probably uh, if he has a good. Back end. Yeah. His first sector was. Uh, oh dear. Now he's gone way off. It's definitely not going to improve now, I don't think. No, I think the gravel just makes you lose a few temps. <laughs> <laughs> just a little bit of time. Yeah. Uh, is he going to go for another lap or is he going to come in the pits? Jokin is determined to stay on those primes. Very good first sector as well, to 22 million. Yeah, his last first sector was a 22.6, so he's certainly got something going on that first sector. If he went on options, he might be able to get pulled. Yeah, go on, Jua. Yeah, I don't think his middle sector is quite as. It's actually 30.9. That's, that's very decent on the primes. That's the best prime. Time middle sector we've seen. Yeah, it could be challenging. This lap, depending on how the last sector goes, because I think the last sector is almost the key to that. Oh, he's gone a bit wide there. Oh no. Might have lost some time there. Yeah. I like how smooth he was with those there. That's again. Yep. 
I think he'll lost time in the middle sector, but where does it put him? Seventh. Seventh. Go on to Boppin. Yeah, he lost. If he, did, if he could have done that middle sector as good as he did, last sector did, did the other two, he could have been up in P4 quite easily. Maybe. Our boy and Java to back out. But, I saw a bit if, but some maybes, the fact of the matter is he didn't get the last sector he wants to speak. Queen's out on options now. Iola did a 20.8 in the first sector. Yeah, let's see what Iola can do. It's a decent middle sector too. Can we see South my Iola? This could put him four for a good last sector. A lot of steering yeah, angle. Of yeah, I was gonna say a lot of steering angle on through the corners. The Jesus. A bit unnecessary, I think. Yeah. I mean, you mess it up those corners. I get the feeling that uh, there's um, you know, that there's some improvement to be had with his steering, uh, his driving style. So he goes P9, and for now, it's all very close between fourth and ninth, just four tenths in it. Everyone seems to be good in the first section. Yeah. It's uh, been quite difficult for people to stay consistent throughout the lap. The last sector seems to be the killer, from what I can see from most people. But nobody seems to be able to beat our boys for anything yet. Yay, yeah, we're beating Shrewsbury 2 0. <laughs> I can't even celebrate it, it's just. I mean, I'm happy, but it's just. It's, I'm relieved, that's the be best word. I'm relieved the fact we're not screwing up against them. So what can our boy do now? Having said that, I'm gonna. What's Jared doing? He was on a fairly quick time and it was a uh, Mercedes when he was back in the middle of it. Okay. He did do a poor middle set. To, oh no, he did a best middle set to last time around. My bad. Jammy Bear's gone pole. I didn't. That's quick. That went under the radar a bit. Yeah, I was wondering now, I thought the order's messed up here, this was, I suppose was, now it was. Jar Jared's gonna come across the line, doesn't improve. Jammy Bear's gone to Paul! Oh, I wasn't even looking at it. He did a very, very good middle yes. sector, which is yeah. really well gone. That's very good. Showing his, uh, um, what, his, uh, Grand, not Grand Tourism, Project Cars form, shall I say. Um, Speed Queen's just gone P5 on the options, but 1.3 seconds off. We'll see how long Jamie Bear's pull lasts, because our boy's on a quicker lap now. It's all about the last sector, though. The last two corners. Looks pretty good, too. This could be a uh, pull position for our boy. It's looking like he's going to get it. Yep, by three now. The first man into a 22s. And could potentially be the only man in the 22s, you never know. Um, just Jared's on a better lap too. Improved in both sectors, so he could potentially yeah, go. He's going to have to go for lap after this. Is this Jared's yeah. second lap on options? Yeah, it's a second lap. So Mills' last sector is going to be the key here. Could start. Oh, bit of oversteer. Oh, I don't think that's gonna. That might have. Oh, he did improve. It's personal best. Yeah. Might have cost him second, potentially. Perhaps Phillips given up, I think. Our and man's uh, dual pins, finally. Oh, I was gonna say our man's done decent I was gonna I was gonna say our man's done decent lap and gone P five, but our turn has taken that straight off him. And now he's up to P five. It's looking like a reasonably close grid here. I can't quite tell if our turn is going for another lap on. Dual fin is out on option tyres now. This could be interesting. We asked him to go out on options and uh well, he certainly delivered. He did. Yeah. And the other Ferrari's already gone quickest, so could he make it a Ferrari one two? It's if he can hook it up on the lap, it's not going on the way. Yeah, Jammy Bear's not going for another lap, so Oh yeah, of course. I forgot our point. Don't like the pole position. Anyone on all that? Do you think just started? Jared's retired. It's only 15. Oh, it's only 15 seconds left, which means we will miss the end of people's laps. We won't miss it, but we will be to see the times, which is 
A little bit infuriating. Yep. But she tired. I'm, I might just might catch Geofin's nope. no. <laughs> I almost caught Geofin's first sector. I might Sadly be seeing view lap times. Here we go. 22.6 is what it is. That's a decent first sector. Speed Queen on another lap? No, she's not. Is it just your thing then? Yeah, it looks like he's the only one who might be able to improve. A little bit wide there, but it's looking good. Going down, a bit, going down towards the end of sector 2. Uh, I can just. His middle sector was a 30.8. That's decent, but it's not front running. It's going to get up off the grid though. Yeah, definitely. It. It's looking good as well for the last section. A little bit of oversteer, but he got he helped he prevent it nicely. And Geofin goes up to... Sixth. Six. I think there was a big gap ahead of him, so he only gained a couple of positions, but I think that was a lot of gaining time. He pushed down out. No, nope, no improvement there. So in the end, our boy takes pole position, but it's it it doesn't look it could have a few challenges in the race. Yeah, it looks relatively close at the top. I get the feeling with a Torosso power, he could have a trouble keeping Ferrari and Lotus behind at the start. Especially when the DRS comes into play, if he's uh, yeah. still within a second. Um, I don't really know who we're waiting for here. Probably the game to discover what it needs to do to work. Yeah, we might be waiting a while. Yep, so... Uh, Phil says he'll take fourth. Kept gaining two attempts in the first sector on a PB, but lost it in the other two sectors. Seems to be a problem for a lot of people, that, especially the last sector. Yeah, yeah. the last chicane especially. She up into 24.4 in the end, it's not too bad. Um, I get the feeling there's more to come from Jared. And well, you could tell Speed Queen didn't get the practice in, down in P8. Yeah, it's not what he is, not where she'd hope to be. Nobody qualified on the uh, prime tyre, so there's no alternative strategy going on there. A few drivers went out on them early on, but I think I was just to get a feel of the track. Yeah, that seems likely. Yeah, well done to our boy getting pole position. Had a, a few challenges, especially an unexpected one from Jeremy Bear and in that Ferrari. It seems to be working well around this track because Duos have been looking the best he's looked for a while as well. Yeah, I'm interested to see how this race goes. Um, Alba usually is very consistent, so I wouldn't go for anyone else for the win personally, but I'll just wait and see. Yeah. I think the first, if he can keep the lead at the start, that's going to be key. Yeah. We've seen at times, yeah. in, we've seen at times in combat as against Jeremy that he, he can get a little bit, I don't know, what's the word, when he's sort of behind other drivers he can get, I don't know, a little bit too eager to make the move and... Sometimes needs a little bit more patience. Let's just see how the first corner goes. Yeah. Hopefully there won't be a massive incident, but I wouldn't put my house on it, let's put it that way. It happened before. Barbian is the uh, yeah. biggest example, I suppose. Yeah, that was a bit mental. Um, we're not behind it, we're no one behind us, is there? Um, no, no, we disconnected or anything, so. Yeah. No, and everyone set a lap time. Thank you very much for doing that. So it's the way we go. And Our boys had a good start. Yep, managed to keep the. Yeah, it looks like single file down, but Jared, who moved up to second, is trying to go around the outside. He can't quite make it though. He'll have to settle for second. Jeremy Bear's dropped down to third, fills up to fourth. And it looks like, so far, everyone's had a very clean start, which is good to see. Yep, but Jarrah's had a slow um, run out of turn two, though, and I think Jeremy Bear's going to have a look down the inside. No, can't make it stick. 
But this is allowing. Very good run. Oh, Philip there. Uh, Philip had a good run, but he didn't have anywhere to go. Yeah, that's quite a football take in the mill sector. So. It's helped Jared get away a little bit now. Now he can try and close down our boy for the lead. Um, yeah, it's good to see such a good start. It's nice that no one so far has had trouble. Oh, there's a bit of it's debris there. The DRS sign. Oh, the DRS sign. oh, I thought it was might be the front wing then. <laughs> yeah, um, and Martin is over the inside of Philip. Oh yeah, Philip's defending now. Yep, good defending. Managed to keep the position. That's good defending that from Philip. Speed Queen still in eighth, not really making any inroads so far. Still have been at a who will start down two positions already. Philip's now on the back of Jammy Bear for P3. And could he make the move he's stick? He's going down the outside. Also is very quick and straight line. Yeah. But Jammy oh. Bear's done defended well there. Very good break me right down there. Oh! Philip, I know what Philip was trying to do there with the uh, different line out of the corner, but he almost caught out the car behind him. No, I think he just lost the back end a little bit. Ah. Uh, I'll turn a P5. Hang on a minute. Um, has someone dropped down? Um, he, um, someone's dropped down, I think. Oh no. Big Queen was. I always look back. Yeah. I don't think I all might be further up, maybe potentially. Uh, our boy seems to be pulling out a lead over Jared, but not massive at the moment. And Jamie Bear's got yeah, his um, rear mirror, mirror full of Force India. And uh, Philip's going to make going to have the inside, but a cutback. Oh, that's good defending again. I thought this just went off track. It was um, Art Man, I think it might have been then. Yeah, Art, Art Man, not at that end. Um, at the end of the second He's down to P8, so that's disappointing for that man. Got the power a bit too early. And I think our turn is going to have a great view here and potentially get involved here because it could be three alongside each other here. Philip's once again going to have a run on Jammy Bear. Has the Red Bull got a straight line speed to get involved? Trying to be inside this time. Oh, Jammy Bear's going to try and hold on, but this time I think Philip's got it. I yeah. think he's got oversteer though. And our turn is now right in the back of it. Jeremy Bear's going to go for the inside line, I think, into this corner. Oh, it's close. Oh! Very close. And our turn is now going to try and take two positions. And he's he's gone into the wall. What what happened there? I didn't, uh, Jeremy Bear squeezed him out a little bit, I think, and he's uh, collapsed. Yeah. This one, this I, 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 was on, I was on board with Philip and it just it, I wasn't sure if it was contact. Yeah, there was definitely contact between them. Yeah. That's a shame for our turn, I think. And he's obviously saw the move and but I don't know, maybe. Fortunately he hasn't lost any of his front wing, so And he's only down to eighth as well, which isn't too bad. Um Speed Queen's up to fifth now. All this has allowed our boy and Jared to kind of get into a race of our own up front, and our boy's not dropping Jared. He's made a little bit of a mistake there. Yeah, Jared and might have the DRS. Yeah, Jared have might have a good run here. So could Jared take the lead from our boy? This could. Especially he's not. He's not got DRS. I may add, but he's going to go down the inside. Oh, he did have DRS. And he's made the move stick. Good move Jared's down the inside. The so Jared takes the lead. Our boy just seemed to. Have a problem in the middle in the last sector there, coming out the last couple of corners. But our boy's going to try and go down the inside, but I think it's better off it. Also taking Johnny Bear, and Johnny Bear takes him up the inside at the end of the first sector. My makers has retired. Oh, I didn't see what happened there. Um, Johnny Bear has taken P3 back then. There's just constant battling between these two. Yeah. <laughs> And I tell you something, just if you look behind uh, Philip and Jeremy Bear, this Speed Queen duo just seem to be making just some just steady progress. Yeah, Speed Queen's um, perhaps gone with the groove of things now after a few laps. Yeah, Nick and Dick. trying to fight his way back through the field. Um, our boy then has got 
This is perhaps not what he expected to be in a situation he expected to be in tonight, but he's got some attacking to do. <laughs> yeah, for once, he's uh, not just what he is at the front, but not wide at the front where he's expected to be and where he wants yeah. to be. Not all this was that better straight line to be, it's going to be difficult for him to overtake. He's got DRS, so. And he's closing in. Not closing yeah, he in wasn't enough, quite close enough for. Well, what's going on behind is, is Philip got, yep, Jamie Bear's down the inside again. Philip's gone for the cutback, lost the rear end a little bit, but he's got the position back. It's a very it's good battling good going on between these two. It's also going to use the oversteer to close the door on Jamie Bear then. <laughs> it's the little button flick they did at Brazil in 2009. <laughs> He's gone a bit wide there, but Jeremy Bear might have a look at him, look back at him here. But no, it's not really, this isn't really an overtaking spot. But, I don't know, I don't know, there's times it seems like Philip's using the oversteer to stop him coming past, the other times it just seems like he's genuinely having problems with a car. Yeah, and, I don't think it'll be... And he's coming down the inside, Jeremy Bear. Jeremy Bear goes down the inside again. And he's closed the door nicely, that was a good move, that. So Johnny Bear's back up to third place. You've got to outbreak without um, without making sure that you don't leave the door open for the uh, undercut on the exit. That boy gets a good exit here. He could be. Yeah, I. Got to do a good exit here. Oh, <laughs> oh dear! <laughs> on the gravel as well. <laughs> <laughs> it's not. Where's Philip gone? Where's Philip uh, gone? He's in the pit. He's in the pit. Oh, that's that's a very very early pit stop. Yeah, I, I don't. We ha I haven't done Spain yet, so I'm not sure, quite sure what the tyre wear's like around here. But um, yesterday, people were going to seven, not eight. On the opening tyres. Um, Phil has just Phillips just got a ten second penalty for cutting the pit lane. <laughs> uh, I imagine that'll be removed and see what happens. Yeah, I don't think that'll be. Yes. Andy Jerry Jones in P9. And some clear air. Issue with this track. Yeah. Jared's still in the lead, ahead of our boy. Pulling way up so slightly, I think. Yeah, it seems like our boy's having a few problems in the last sector, getting the power down on in the last couple of corners. I suppose the Should dirty air uh, doesn't help there. Is your finger on the back of speak, me? Is your finger going to make a move? He's got our turner behind him as well. Your yeah, going down the inside. Both giving each other plenty of room, they're still alongside. I think Joe Finn's gonna... Finn gets a very good exit by running a little wide and... Yeah. Joe Finn. And I'll turn her now. You know, it might have been twice I'll turn her after what happened earlier. <laughs> yeah, maybe. It's uh, another Ferrari. It's yeah. It's not... Yeah, it's <laughs> Ferrari as well might as well not really help that. Is anyone in the pits this lap? Hartman's into the pits. Hartman is. Hartman. Oh, of course. Our boy, even. <laughs> Is Arboy in the pits now? Yeah, I just got the overhead shot there. Is Artman as well? Yeah, yeah, he is. Yes. I was wondering, I thought you got confused then, because I saw Arboy go into the pits, and it is quite similar. <laughs> um, so where's Ar where's Arboy come out? Was he Arboy looking for an undercut? Phillips trying to pass Iola for P7 and on the fresh tyres. Shouldn't be too difficult, yeah, I always does no. So that's a P7 then for him. Both on the primes. Um, I think our turn has had another collision. Why is that? Because he's nowhere near the back of you up in anymore. Huh. He's not a fan of Ferraris, I don't think. No, Ferrari's not going to be uh, not going to be on his Christmas card list this year. <laughs> yeah, it seems unlikely. <laughs> yeah, we'll miss that incident with all the stuff going on in the pit stops. Yeah, and Joffin isn't quite as close to Speed Queen as what he was. Neither of them pit. Javid's in the pit still in the lead. Oh, yeah. Well, he's got a cover off Arboy, hasn't he? Yeah, I think Arboy might get the lead with this though. Yeah, I'll get on board with our boy, see whereabouts he is. Chowd's just coming out now. 
on yeah, the prime Yeah, taking the lead. Or the provisional lead. Ah, it's a different strategy as well. I think that's, that's another reason why um, our boys come out quite a bit in front. But it's a long race, 33 laps, and um, Jared's going to have the advantage later on, you'd imagine. Yeah, you, you only do one prime sin on here, really. So he's going to be on the options at the end. He's going to have slightly fresher tyres at the end. Yeah, so all he's got to do now is just not try and over push the car and uh, keep the gap as low as possible. Phillips. Yeah, Phillips doing okay in P7. I'll turn as pitted as well. Um, he's gone for the prime tyre. As is Phillips. Just start by the options then. Yeah, Speed Queen's got pressure from behind again. Course. Well, they'll be pitting this lap. We'll, um... You expect them to be. Unless they're going through a two stop. Jammy Bear's pitted from the lead. Hang on a second. That's Speed Queen and Duo have been keep going. That might have been a good thing for Duo because he might have potentially been held up in the pits. <laughs> I don't know oh, what... Well, he was drifting into a bash again there. <laughs> Fastest lap of the race, though. It's not bad. Hopefully, the stream's just messed up for me and nobody else, though. It, it looks as though Speed Queen and Duo have been maybe going through a two stop. We're going so long in the first thing. Yeah. To be fair, Speed Queen, you reckon she could probably manage it, you know what she's like on the tyres. What she did yeah, at the time. very smooth as well, from what you view. Yeah. These two could come into play later on in the race then. Could it explain why they're a bit off yeah, the pace at the start? Uh, from, the, from the race yesterday, two stops seem to be a little bit quicker. Jofi might have a run. Jofi might have a run on Speed Queen here. Uh, doesn't look like he's going to try and move though. No, not yet. Uh, Speed Queen doing the best exit for man that you were in. Gosh, you've got to remember this is a 2015 car performance. So it's fair to say that Joe Finn's got a, slight, a much better car at his disposal, but doesn't mean it's still going to be an easy overtake. Speed Queen's gone wide, though. And yeah, the Titans aren't going to be feeling very good right now. And, and uh, Speed, Speed Queen, Queen pits, pits. And Joe Finn keeps going. keeps going. That's interesting. I don't think his tyres were quite as bad. No, he seemed, to be, uh, he seemed to be at the end getting held up by Speed Queen. No, Our boy's just set the fastest lap. And he's now 4.3 seconds clear of Jared. Phillips going up the Oh, outside here we go. Yeah. This isn't the camera I wanted, but you know, come masters, it's cool. Uh, Jerry Bear takes or keeps mm. the position. Yeah, but slightly tough to Phillip. Ah. And Phillip loses the back end because of it. I'm going to blame the camera angle there, can I see Jeremy Bear's car thanks to the shitty camera angle I got just, there? Just <laughs> s slam the door shut and uh, clip uh, the Phillips long wing. Ah, uh, so that's... Any malice in that or just a uh, just a, maybe a lack of awareness as to where the other car was? Uh, hard to say obviously because it was a very, very slight touch. So you might be able to just put that down to... Speed Queen and Artman be there and be in the are fairly close together for P6. Very I'm close to you. quick Italians right now. Speed Queen. It's not what Speed Queen wants really to get involved in battles, considering the strategy she's on. No, she wants to be pretty much by herself, just conserving the tires as much as possible. I don't think for a second that means she'll give Art Boy an easy uh, room through her. Definitely not. And uh, Dua Bing keeps going once more. 11 one? laps on these tyres now. One stop? Eh. Uh, maybe. <laughs> <laughs> if he could get about 14 or 15 laps out of the options, then it's definitely a possibility. Yeah, I would like to know how bad his tyres would be feeling at that point, though. How do they look on board of him? They don't look that bad. No, he still seems to be okay. I could be worried about puncture, perhaps. He's got our boy closing him in, but that's not surprising considering the uh, situation. Yeah, um, and that boy's been taking the fastest laps up just for fun, really. 
Um, so who? Jalo on the flames, um, falling by a little bit. I did expect really. Armin's over Armin's. the back of Sea Queen. <laughs> oh, Just not quite. Waiting for the DLS, I think. He needs to get a good run out of this corner and then he can make a move. I don't think he got a good run there, uh, once again. Nope, but in the breaking he's off, I'm just close to Yeah, up. had to stop just to avoid the back of her. Yeah, I've always uh, in the DRS zone. With you up in, he's still. Got, he might well be going for one stop here. <laughs> I definitely wouldn't advise going for one stop at any point ever. But again, his damage off in this. I think damage is off. No, no damage. Damage is on. Oh, damage on this league. So he could. So he could get a puncture then. Yeah. So uh, that's. Yeah, then it, I think that's a little bit crazy decision but we said that about Speed Queen in China and she went on to win so you know <laughs> yeah who, who are we to say anything yeah exactly <laughs> you never know what can happen oh, it, it looks now like he's really struggling <laughs> just say, the one we called up our boy though I've got to be honest our boy <laughs> just be I mean just be patient <laughs> you, you've got a, there you go you see it's gone wide and now on traction should have a lead. I mean, said that. Joe uh, thing's gonna make it difficult just because he can move. <laughs> <laughs> oh, 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 he's really had to uh, fight for this, but I think surely now he's got the position. I think he has, yeah. And Joe carries on Keep once going. again. <laughs> yeah, at this point, it has to be once. Yeah, there's no, there's, there's no going back now. I mean, he's on the 13th lap on these now. He, he may as well go to the end. Not the end, sorry. Um, yeah, the Maybe one stop. Maybe two laps and then he's going to prime till the end, perhaps. Yeah, definitely. I mean... Nope. Yeah, he's got a puncture. Yeah. I've got to be honest, you could kind of see it happening. Yeah, I mean, and he's going far too long on the tires. And I think... Very ambitious. I am my even for his ambition. That's the but end really? of his challenge. Yeah. It's a real shame because he, he looked like he had a good strategy lined up, but I think he, when Speed Queen came into the pits, he should have pitted then or a lap later. He, he couldn't really have got the puncture at the worst time either. No, it, just after turn one, just not. You got to do a whole lap. And here's something I've noticed. I don't know if it's just me, but um, uh, let me just see. Uh, wait a minute. I think Jerry Bear is getting closer to Jared. Yeah, Jeremy Bear is on option and Jared's on Primes. Oh, right. I thought I thought I saw Jeremy Bear on Primes, but I must have uh, misseen that. So, yeah, that's understandable then. Uh, Phillips in P4. Speed Queen. I think Speed Queen's closing up Philip, and they're both on Primes. But Speed Queen's Speed on Queen's newer Primes. Now. Yeah, Speed Queen's on newer Primes. Dual Finn's torturous laugh from that puncture is about to come to an end. I wonder if there was a collision between Artman and Speed Queen, because Artman's dropped way back. I'm not sure. Oh. He's down to eight. He's not even past Jorfin yet. Um, Artman's made a second pit stop. Oh, I mean, he must have lost his front wing then, because you can't imagine that that's scheduled unless. Uh, I guess it could be, but it was a bit early still, isn't it, to make two stops in 12 laps? Yeah, it's quite early. Jewelfin finally makes it back to the pits. It, it's a shame that's how it ended for him because looking really good, but a one stopper was always a pipe dream, really, I think. He's got no prime, so he could sort of it. <laughs> <laughs> if I was him now, I would do a quite a short prime stint and then go back on the options again. Yeah, it's like all the drifts is in the pit lane. He can still salvage points from this race. Um, so Jared is now, Jared's only five and a half seconds behind our boy, but kind of the gap stabilised a little bit. Yeah, our boy's tyre is quite old now, it'd be pitted on lap six, or was that five even? Yeah, lap six I think it was, so. I don't know, now he's coming to the pits again. 
He could definitely, yeah, he's, I was going to say, I think, I'd imagine he was due a pit stop. It'd be interesting to see what tyre he goes on to now. Um, might get choose to get his prime tyre stint out of the way now or at the end. I'd personally choose to get it out of the way now. We're about to see another options again. Okay, so it looks like then he's going to run prime tyres at the end, which means that it could be, it could be once again another Titanic finish. Yep. As a Obviously Speed Queen goes past Philip. More again. Over Jared's. Speed Queen and Philip Not side by side. And Speed Queen's got the move done up into P3. Very nice move. The podium positions now. Of course, our boy made that pit stop. So. She's starting to come into this race as, it, as, it, as the race goes on. Yeah, definitely. She's found her with them. Well, I think the lack of practice will not have helped that one, but uh, she recovered well from that and uh, looking good now to probably ch potentially challenge for a podium with uh, Jammy Bear currently on options. He's oh. literally just behind Jarrett now. Someone in the stream who wants to join in the next race. So, there you go. Oh, um, that's nice. Just, uh, just um, if you if you do want to join the race, it, it is a limited assist league. You can only run automatic gears. All the other assists have to be turned off. So, if you want to join us at playstationgl.com. Yep, that's the site to go on. Sign up for the, any of the leagues. So we run assisted leagues as well. Like, so you can use all assists if you want to. So, yeah, there's plenty of leagues to choose from. Uh, Philip couldn't win the pick stop was setting set uh, there the start of the race. I'd recommend F5 if it wasn't full. <laughs> um, <laughs> so, our boys rejoined in P4. You'll, speak, you'll have Speed Queen to overtake soon, if you imagine. Um, yeah, our boy is just behind Speed Queen, actually. And uh, Jammy Bear is just behind Jared. How many pick stops has he made? Um, Jared, um, Jared only made one. Oh, Jared, Jared. He's only made one stop. He's on options as well. He's been on those options for a while now, and he's caught right up to. That's quite. That's actually I'm a bit surprised that Jared Bear's continued to close up to Jared because you'd imagine the options should be going off by now. Yeah, yeah. I mean, our boys were definitely going off. But he's. And Jared Bear only picked the lap later. Yeah, so he's had a nine-lap stint on these tyres now. Jared's still going strong. Jared's had the same, but he's on prop. He's on prime, so theoretically he should be pulling away from him now. But is Jared Bear goes into the pits. <laughs> I, I, I don't think it was so much to do with tyres. He might have just done that to get out of the uh, dirty air. Perhaps it might have been when he was scheduled to come in. What tyres Jeremy Bear going on to? Another set of options. So we'll run the prime tire at the end. At the end. Be quite a short oh, stint on primes as well. Ah, uh, missed that. Uh, was it into turn one? Yep. Yep. That's a straightforward move. Our boy up into P2. Jared's still in first, but not. That's disappointing prime tire stint from Jared, would it be fair to say? Yeah, he's definitely enjoying them. I mean, they're not very fun tyres to be on. But it once, he's, be once he's going out of the way, I think he could pit at the end of his lap to be honest and do two eight lap stints on the options, and that would give him a chance to attack our boy at the end, all being well. But he needs to, he needs to not, he needs to not make so many mistakes on these tyres though. Going wide quite a lot. They're quite old by now. They won't be feeling amazing. No. I'd be surprised if he doesn't. If he, I'd be surprised if he carries on. Yeah, yeah he's pitting. While he's doing that, I'm just going to check the race director and see what we've got. If we've got anything there. Um. Yeah, Philip got a 10 second thing for corner cutting. But he says that was a pit entry thing. Does it go down as corner cutting when you do that? Yeah, it would do, wouldn't it? It's not the exit. Yeah. And it's. Yeah, and Tafur got a 3 second penalty for corner cutting, which 
If it's three seconds, will probably be some just that actual corner cut. Uh, Philip is six. Jared's rejoined in P5. Behind Jammy Bear. So, uh, got some work to do there. Our turn is third, but I think he's due a pit stop, isn't he? Um, yeah, I think so. Because he had that incident that cost him a lot of time. It's a calm before the storm, I'd say, right now. Speed Queen in P2, she's also, well, I'll say she's due a pit stop, I think she's doing one less stop, isn't she? Yeah, I think so. So, if she's in P2 now, it's, that's, that's pretty good, to be fair. <laughs> <laughs> she'll go into options, I assume, for the last stint as well, so. She'll be in a good position to really challenge at the end. Yeah. Um, have to get Paulie in place. Could be a hole. Challenge for the win? I mean... It might be a bit, a bit difficult, I think, where she is right now. Um, she's currently five and a half seconds behind our boy. Um, it, it all depends on what our boy's pace is on the prime tyre. Needs to be a bit of a low in the action. Yeah, Jarrah's down to P5 now and is 14 seconds behind our boy. That prime tyre stint, I think, has really damaged his race. Yeah, um, but uh, our boy is just too on then. He's going to need to clear our turner as quickly as he can. Um, is Jared? He's catch up to our turner first. I think he's he's getting there. <laughs> Shouldn't be too long now. I think our turner's. Oh, there's a Williams there going off the track. Not quite sure what's happened there. That will be uh, Tafu, who's in last place, and yep. getting lapped. So. Benny saying Taff getting me some constructor points. <laughs> Bennyville that is. And that is Jared going down the inside of our turn. He's gone wide though. Couldn't quite see from the camera angle if he stuck to a track or not. I think he did though. Yep, and uh, he got a better exit because of it. He'll be able to keep the position. Yep, so. And he's got more traction on those tyres as well. So our turner, I imagine now we're coming to a pit because he doesn't look like he's having a fun time of it out there. Yep, indeed he does. So now we've got, run you through the order very quickly, uh, if I get to the front, if I can click the right way. Our boy leads um, for Toroso, ahead of Speed Queen, who's doing a two stop strategy rather than a three stop in second, 8.3 seconds behind. Jammy Bear is 11 seconds off the leader, three seconds behind Speed Queen and is on the options again. Jared in fourth. Philip down in fifth after an incident with, uh, was it Jammy Bear? Uh, yeah, it was with John Bear. Yeah, Artman in sixth. Our turn has rejoined in P7. Duofin after that puncture is in P8, and Tapo has left the session. Sorry, Benneville. <laughs> um, and I was ninth and last. And I, I can only a lot of steaming all around for everyone. I can only assume Tafo lost connection because he was guaranteed a point if he carried on. Yeah, I think he might have lost connection. We also see if that flags anything go by, he's from quite a way away. Yeah, it can happen. Speed Queen has just been overtaken by Jammy Bear, B2. I think I'm, I missed that unfortunately, but. The Speed Queen's uh, probably coming towards the end of her uh, time stint. Yeah, how many. Did she do a 12 up stint on the options at the start? No, she had a nine laps in the Is it? Okay, I'll, I'll have to have a look. We'll check on my hand and tell you. It was Joe Finn who was going that one on them and uh, didn't end ah, very yes. well. <laughs> yes, it was the uh, end of lap nine. So, yes. Speed Queen will probably look to pit around lap 24 then. If she's going to run a little again. bit earlier. Well, she's less fuel, less tyre wear. So. Yeah. She could probably take the options for about 10, 11 laps then. But she's soon going to have to contend with Jared, who is just at the fastest lap of the race and looks like he's trying to claw the gap back to our boy. Yep, um, Speaking of likes to defend, no matter what positions he's in, so. 
What can she do? Be easy. What can she do here? Jared goes down the inside, but I think, don't think he's going to make the corner. No. No, he definitely doesn't make the corner. No. <laughs> Maybe a bit too up road view from there. Yeah. That was him making wait for the uh, DRS on the pit straight. Try and get a good exit out the last couple of corners. Oh boy, you'll probably be coming to the end of his, uh, his stint in those options. Yeah, he's got Jared closing in on him, who's on the same tyre. Um, he's got Jared closing in on him, despite the fact that in the last sector he was held up by Speed Queen. And he's going down yeah, the inside. Was the inside of Speed Queen. Um, and takes the position. The now, definitely. It's a good move from Jared. It's an important move as well, because he's starting to bridge the gap to our boy. Now down to 12.7 seconds, and he can now, he's got a bit of clear air in front of him. Although he's Jared there. flying on those tyres. Yep. Our boy still got his prime tyre stint to run, and it could cost him later on. Hartman is in the pitch in seventh position. And uh, Ayola has a function. Oh. It's just going from bad to worse for Ayola, isn't it? It's just been yeah. driving around at the back. back. We lapped. Yeah. I'm not entirely sure how that happened. I'm assuming it's with tyre wear. Oh. Um, yeah, just letting the car He's just few stops, so I'm not entirely sure how it could be tyre wear. Yeah, I don't know how else you get a puncture though, really. Um, he's taking the uh, the Emoto GP route around the corner. Um, yes, yeah, is that what everyone's way doing that, I suppose? Yeah. <laughs> there was no one coming on Pompano. <laughs> Maybe we say we'll give a wave to the fans, I don't know. <laughs> I thought he was going to take So our boy has pitted now for the prime tyre. Yep. He's got a long He's got a long stint on those tires, a long stint on a slower tire. Speed Queen's also pit. Goes on the option tires. Yeah. Oh, our boy had to hold off Philip there, who was trying to. If Philip got past him, that'd have been a uh, bit of an issue for our boy. But he's managed to just get out ahead of him. I don't know something in the about what, what can Jared do? something in the back of my mind is just saying that I don't think our boy's going to win this. I'll have to wait and see, I suppose. Yeah, it's going to come down to the end, which is which is what we all want. So now it's up to Jared. What can Jared do? He's four seconds behind Jeremy Bear. Who? When did Jeremy Bear pit? He pitted quite late, didn't he? Um, Jeremy Bear. I'll tell you certain when he pitted. Lap 16 was it? Yeah, I think it was. I think he still needs to run the prime tire as well. Yep. So Jeremy Bear not pitting yet. Should pit soon. Jared don't know a few laps yet because he's going to be running the options at the end. Yeah, another three laps. Perhaps. He's not closing in on Jeremy Bear. Interestingly, and our boy is not too far behind Jared. So maybe the gap is a bit more than I thought it was. <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> No problem, I thought, you, I, I thought you dropped something. <laughs> <laughs> uh, so Speed Queen's taken oh, yeah. fourth, I think Philip's just coming out of the pits. Yeah, I'm going to set prime tie experience first. Yeah, and he's going to be behind our Turner, interestingly. Yeah, but I think our Turner would probably get in on those. And uh, Philip on the options, so should be making good progress, although he nearly went wide there. Ignore me, our Turner won't be going to the end on those. <laughs> when did he pit? Um, I don't know, I think it was lap 20 I think. 13 yeah. laps in the times. Might be awesome. Yeah. You can't do 13 laps on the options, Joe Finn's got evidence of that. Well, I always just spam. Oh dear. <laughs> just one of those races really, isn't it? Uh, Jeremy Bear. Yep. Jeremy Bear's pitting from the lead. And I always retired. You won't get the points for that, will he? Um, we have to complete 90% of them. Okay. Jared's taking the lead because Jeremy Bear's in the pits. Where's Jeremy Bear going to rejoin, I wonder? 
The Speed Queen, I guess, will be the target. But and she's See just she coming yeah, the final she's she of Speed Queen. Well, Speed Queen's going to be on the quicker tyre. Not just come down the pit screen now. Not, not massive distance between them. I'm just seeing one in the first corner here yeah, on board with Speed Queen. Speed Queen obviously on the quicker tyre, but that could be a battle later on for the, the final place on the podium, I reckon. Yeah, uh, Jan's going to probably come in for his final pit stop soon. And it's been a good drive from Jeremy Bear, not seen. I kept saying, like, during some races, I feel like he's got more pace in him, and this is more like the sort of pace I was expecting from him. It's good to see him battling for podiums. My Our turn is on. Our boy is closing in <laughs> on Jared at the moment. Phillips all over the back of our boy, uh, not our, our Turner even. <laughs> and uh, we'll be looking to make it as quick as possible. Our, uh, our turn's going into the gravel and that was a lot easier for Philip than he probably expected. So that's been been lucky our Turner this race. Yeah, it's just not... He looked in qualifying, he was lacking a little bit of pace and he just... Maybe it's not one of his favourite tracks this one. It, it does like he struggled a little bit. Obviously, he had that. Was closing in on Jared. Got to say, Joe Finn, mine, if our turn's got a pit again, which I think he has, I'm not sure if Joe has either, but Joe Finn might recover six here, which would be a good effort. This must be Jared's last lap before changing tyres, I imagine. It's going to have to be a monster last seven laps on the uh, options, but. Joe Finn's still only done one stop. <laughs> Maybe he's going to the end. <laughs> if he wants another puncture. <laughs> Maybe he thinks, what's he got to lose? <laughs> he's got. Uh, has he got any positions that he'd lose? Artman's the one who's. Well, yeah, he would lose position to Artman if he got a puncture. Yes. Well, we will probably worth a go, to be honest. <laughs> yes. Might lose that position in your pits, so. Yeah. Nothing to lose, I guess. 20 laps on the primes uh, would be a bit of a challenge. To put it quite lightly. <laughs> Jared? The easiest thing in the world. Jared has pitted. The, pits. Uh, the gap to our boy was very small. Yeah, so... I think... I don't think he's even going to come out in second, Jared. He might come out in fourth. Jared's going to take him. I think Speed Queen might Jared as well. Bears. Yeah. So this part of the third could be going back of the second. Yeah, where's where is Jared? He's he's behind them both. Yep, yeah, so I don't think Jared's gonna have enough now, is he? No. Take uh, either an insane drive or a few mistakes ahead of him. Now the big thing is now I think the big factor in this how this battle is going to unfold is Speed Queen because she'll need to get past Jammy Bear before Jared closes up to her. Yep, and not too far behind, just just over a second at the moment. But Jared isn't too far behind her either, so it's going to be a close one. I think Jammy Bear's going to have to do the defending of his life to keep second or even third. It's going to find it very difficult on those, uh, what will be warm finds. But while the battle for second unfolds, in the end it's been, I'm not going to say an anti-climax, but a bit, I don't know, I expected our boy to be in a bit more trouble than this later on in the race, but I think now he can probably yeah, his, cruise it home. The space on the prime tyres was a uh, lot better than the others, and I think that's what won in the race. Yeah. Jared's made too many mistakes on the prime tyre, which has cost him second. It's cost him a chance of a win and probably maybe a chance to get second. Mm -hmm. Compare Speed Queen and um, Jerry Bear's last lap times. I think yeah, Speed Queen lost a little bit of time. Oh, yeah. Um, Jerry Bear's last lap was a 
five one and Speed Queen's last lap was a twenty five two, yeah. I made a mistake on that lap. Could cost dearly. Jared's closing in. It's looking really like P5 for Philip in the end. He might be a little bit disappointed with that. Could have been more. Yeah, he had a decent qualifying. He was looking decent in the race. And then obviously had that little incident. Our turn of P6 again could have been more. Joe Finn's not pitted yet. <laughs> Oh, man. No, I think he is going to go once. <laughs> <laughs> well, we told him he won't be able to manage it, and you might technically manage it. Technically, yes. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> you know, I mean, there was a puncture on the options, but, you know, all technicalities, I guess. Speed Queen now is getting very close to Jeremy Bear. Yep, uh, definitely better lap this time than the last one. And Jared's getting closer to them both. It's all set up. Very great battle to the end. Genie's free. And uh, Jeremy Bear's got to pull up all the stops to uh, stop both of them passing him. Of course, problem Speed Queen could encounter potentially in the last couple of laps is tyre wear. Even by her standards, it's a fairly lengthy stint on options. It's definitely manageable. Yeah. Um, Jared. It's getting closer, but it's not. Yeah, Speakley's not quite closing in as much as like as quickly as I'd have thought. Jared Bear's doing a good job. Jared's definitely closing in as quickly as I'd have thought. Yeah. I get the feeling that that Jared's going to close up to Speed Queen before Speed Queen closes up to Jeremy Bear. What's the gap at the moment? Um, well, it's almost visible, really. You can. It's um, 1.5 seconds. Yeah. Sauber, Sauber against Ferrari, both powered by Ferrari, so there shouldn't be really much differential there. That was um, really coming up. And Lotus have got the Mercedes power, which could which could help Jared here. Of a looking at the pace of, he didn't really need much help, much more help. Yeah, so the special tires will do the job with him. Yeah, J Speed Queen just can't get close enough to Jeremy Bear. Jeremy Bear's doing a very good job on those prime tires. Closing in ever so slightly to now 1.1 mm -hmm. seconds. I think, regardless of where Jeremy Bear finishes now, as long as it's obviously second, third, or fourth, I think he's had a very good race and probably his best one of the season. Yeah, definitely best result in the season. No, he just he seems to have been most of the mistake free. Having said that, Speed Queen now is starting to get very close. I think she'll know that Jared is on the attack and she'll want to try and get past Jared about as quickly as she can, but hasn't been able to get close enough until now. She can get a good exit out the final corner, she's gonna get a run down the straight. Yep, yeah, I'd say she's close enough. DRS is going to help. Jeremy Bear's just driving away though. Uh, she's got DRS, is she getting close enough? No. Uh, Ferrari seems to be better set up. I'm straight than the Sauber. And now, a speed queen might have to look in her mirrors. <laughs> yeah, unfortunately, Jared is uh, catching up very, very quickly. And um, what Jammy Bear? It's now going to really battle for second place. Yeah, Jammy Bear might hope that those two get into a battle and he can pull away, but I don't know if that's going to happen. This very heavily in the I wouldn't want to call who's going to get a second here. <laughs> I don't think any all. I don't um, think any of them are going to give it up easily. Their positions. It all depends on whether Jammy can get past Speed Queen very quickly or the Speed Queen. Can oh, it's Speed Queen. I think we're almost on. We're almost getting to the penultimate lap now. I don't imagine there's going to be any overtakes in this section of the track. It's all about positioning yourself for the run down, start, finish straight. 
And from what we've seen, Speed Queen's straight line speed isn't the greatest, so she's going to come under pressure here from Jared. She's going to get DRS from Johnny Bear, but Jared's going to have DRS2 in the slipstream. Well, and a better slipstream. So this. I think Jared's going to have it here. Oh, or not. Oh. <laughs> He's struggling to get. No, he's not quick enough. Wow. This is an op open DRS. Oh. Um, 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 he's going to try and get out of the inside. You'd expect you should just be able to breeze past. But. Yeah. And all this is helping Jammy Bear a little bit. He's going to try and get a good, get, run around the outside. If he's, if he's got a problem with DRS or his problem with straight line speed, he's going to have to try and think of another overtaking spot. Yeah, Speed Queen's getting quite closer to Jeremy Bear now. It seems that Jeremy, she gets closer during this section of a track and when, when Jeremy Bear's a little bit quicker around the last sector. And we said that Jeremy Bear's gone into the gravel and that now means Speed Queen's got a great run. She's going to go down the outside. Oh, the touch! Jared hits him. I don't want that view. Oh my god. It's, he's gone down we're on the outside, Jared on Speed Queen. Speed Queen surely isn't going <laughs> to let that happen. She's left the space. Oh! I thought they were going to collide then. <laughs> oh, it could yeah, not be closer. see Jared take both of them here. It could not be closer for the podium spot. Just Speed Queen's got a shocking exit out of the chicane. I think Jared didn't have anywhere to go. And Jared can't Jared's get straight line speed just isn't. No, uh, DRS was open then. He just awful. can't get close enough. Maybe he's put a lot of fun me on to compensate for the horrible. <laughs> it's corner. all gonna come down. I think it's all gonna come down to the hairpin at the end of sector two because it's clear Jammy Bear doesn't seem to like the, that middle sector as much as the other two. Yep, and uh, all come down to the final lap. Probably going to go back to the final sector. Yep. This is going to... Jammy Bear though isn't getting closed in as much. If he can keep it tidy, he might just have had this. Steve Green went a little wide out of that corner. Yep. I don't think he's, she's going to be close enough. Is Jared going to be close enough Jared to Speed Queen now? No. Jared's straight line speed just isn't good enough. And he doesn't want to, doesn't want to try anything. Is anyone going to make a mistake in this last sector and give the other person a chance? Well, you continue to watch that. I'll just uh, see our boy around the last couple of corners. In the end, not seen a lot of him in this last stint because we've been focusing on the battle behind. But our boy takes a big, very crucial win in Spain. Crosses the line. Good, well driven. And it's looking like. It's looking As like. He worked. Oh, yep. Yeah. <laughs> P2 for Jammy Bear. I've got to say, big credit to him there. Yeah, I, didn't, good result for him. I didn't think he'd hold them off at the end, but I don't know. He just the other two just didn't seem to have a straight line speed. Uh, Jared's straight line speed is peculiar because, in theory, the Lotus should be quicker in straight. You got to see the engine, the DRS, and still can get past. Um, Phillips down to six, and he's about to lose six to Duo Finn. Has he got a puncture or lost run out of fuel? I think he. Yeah, Phillips got a puncture. Oh, let's go. Oh no. Definitely run out of fuel there. Yeah. So Philip, he's got a puncture as well. He had a puncture. Not good luck, luck for him. <laughs> no, running out of fuel and having a puncture—that's that's the worst possible end. So after all that, Philip finishes down in seventh. He's going to be bitterly disappointed with that. And to be f was Joe Finn on the same set of tyres? <laughs> did he do a one stop? I think he was. Credit to yeah, him. Yeah, he did. He did do a one stop, well done. Yeah, and he didn't get a puncture on both sets. <laughs> yeah. Just one set, but he didn't get that puncture. Yeah, just me on the game, or do Verstappen and Ericsson look remarkably similar? Yeah, the, the models of the people aren't very good, but... Yeah. Nevertheless, it's our boy who's taken another victory to extend his, uh, his lead at the top of the championship. Yeah, he was six points in front of Speed Queen, so he'll now be 12 points in front. After 
she got second, um, or third even, shall I say. Jerry Baird got a brilliant second place. Jared on his debut, I usually say fourth on debut is good, but I felt like Jared could have had so much more. Yep, if he, uh, just a little bit stronger on the prime tyres. Yep, Joe Finn did do a one-stopper credit to him. That's that's very good. And um, um, let's just have a look here. Um, yeah, Phillips finished behind Artman because of his penalty, but he can probably have that removed. But to be fair, I think that'll be a little consolation for Phillips overall because yeah, oh, will actually affect anything. Yeah, Phillips just put puncture last lap. He ha he said he had fuel. Um, eighth with corner cut. Not going to dispute due to others not having luck. No. Oh, well. Um, normal schedule. Normal schedule from here on in. Bennyville asks. I think so. I think it's um, all the tracks in the calendar. And then Silverstone's going to be run at the end of the season. So. Yeah, it's not. Spain for me certainly isn't one of the popular tracks, but it threw up a good, certainly a good battle at the end. A little bit anticlimactic, yeah, but a lot of good racing all around, I think. Yeah, it was a lot of good racing out there. I think especially around turns one and two, a lot of people trying the undercuts on each other, and and I think we've got to come back to the start as well. The start was incredibly clean, the cleanest I've seen in a, in a PSGL race for quite a while actually. <laughs> so, getting kudos for that. Um, yep. we'll see you next time out in Canada it'll be the last race before the car allocation change which could potentially spice things up but I think Canada should throw up a good race it usually does <laughs> yeah it's yeah. definitely quite exciting people quite like the track so yep. looking forward to that one so yeah thank you all for tuning in quite, quite a, we double figures for a lot of that race which is the most I've seen in a form race quite a while so that's very good yeah until next week Benneville indeed yeah yeah thank you all for watching and uh, see you in Canada <laughs>